dancing so sleazy. channel so this is another hair update as you guys have seen you saw my cutting of my bangs video which was an epic fail you saw me straighten my hair you saw me trimming and cutting my layers so here is my hair finished and how it looks now so I'm gonna just do a quick hair update I'm gonna talk about my current length I'm gonna measure it with a measuring tape and I'm gonna talk about my bangs a little bit and yeah so let's just get into it so anyway so my bangs this is how they look as you saw my video of me cutting them off and the last uh, few times that I had well, last time I had straightened it which was in early February and I showed you guys in my epic bang, bang fail video how my hair was blending into the back and it was not blending into the back um my crown was also suffering a little bit i have a very sensitive crown and um whoa okay <laughs> need to shave anyway so i always have to make sure that my crown is being maintained and dusted and things like that um and i just also needed to blend the top to go with you know the front so i just did some blending as you guys saw in my trimming video and I think it looks a whole lot better. I obviously have some layers, but honestly, I don't even mind them because my hair still looks super thick, super healthy. Um, the bottom layer doesn't look thin or sparse. Um, and that was kind of what I was afraid of. I was afraid that me cutting so many layers up here would make my bottom layer really, really thin and sparse. And luckily it didn't. So I'll just do the traditional 360 of my hair. So what you guys keep in mind that my hair is curled so um the length on the back is looks may look shorter than it really is because of the body waves and all the layers or whatever but this is how it's looking when I pull it it comes to the very top of my bra strap so it's like a quarter of an inch longer than it was the last time I did a video on my straight hair um, because I changed the shape and I cut three quarters of an inch this time. So I pretty much cut all the growth that I created in the last, what, two and a half months? And yeah, just to get a shape, but I'm okay with that. Um, so yeah, um, I'm happy with it. I'm glad that I cut my bangs. Um, even though my hair was really long in the front before in the last straight hair video that I did and it looked nice straight because all your hair is one uniform length and texture I guess so it's not as noticeable when it's straight but when it was curly my hair was like really thick at the top and then thin at the ends and my wash and goes were looking kind of crazy because the back was so dense and thick and then the front was looking kind of sparse and that was irritating me over time I was trying to ignore it even Prince was saying you know you still have a little heat damage in the front you can cut that off if you want I kind of just let it be for a little bit and then I did end up cutting it off in December the last I had like three inches of straight ends that I ended up cutting off in December but I still had some like thinning spots because I had breakage from when I had heat damage so the hair was breaking to the part I guess where it was like healthy versus where it was heat damaged so this is how it looks and it looks very healthy it's literally like a side bang um a lot of you guys were worried that i ruined my hair and um i mean guys to me ruining your hair is like chemically altering it heat damage like things like that so i was able to really blend it in a lot better also it's grown since then so it looks a lot better than it did before so yeah, this is how my hair is looking. I do have some curls in it, which does help with it looking like it has body and fullness. So yeah, let's get into the length check. Here's my tape measure. And I just put my earrings in. <laughs> you like my nothing TD stud? <laughs> anyway, uh, so how I, how I ended up measuring out my hair was, as I said in past videos, I always put my hair, this, this like pointer thing, 
right where my head crease is between my neck and my head so that way I put it in the same spot every time I brought it to the front and the hair back here the bottom layers I just stretched it out and as you can see it's at 12 but if I can keep this straight at 12 which is right there right here so it's a 12 from the front and let's see where it is from the back ow did you hear that can you see yep actually a, like <laughs> it's actually past 12 it's like 12 and a half I think honestly it's because the hair from the back is longer because my now my hair is like in a U shape as you can see it's in like this U U shape so the very ends right like right here is gonna be the longest and then of course from the sides from the front it'll be like I guess the shortest but um, let's just try that one more time for efficiency. And I'll look at myself in the mirror, see what I'm grabbing. Yeah, it's like a little past 12. Long story short, I'm gonna just say 12 because from now on, I'm gonna be trimming my own hair. I'm not gonna have my mom trimming it anymore. Just so, I'm only doing it just for, so I can have more control. I think I have, I kind of know how to trim my hair on my own now without messing it up. Um, of course I had trial and error, <laughs> but I feel like now I kind of like understand how to trim my own hair in an efficient way as well as keeping it healthy and making it look nice. Um, so basically from, from the hair on out, my plan, let's just talk about the future. The, my plan is to grow these bangs out, but... I'm not going to be I was thinking about cutting like an inch from the bottom every four months so eventually it would just like catch up to each other I was thinking about originally doing that but honestly I would my hair would it would take me to like do that 2021 before I get to my goals I'm like eh, I don't really want so I wasn't really trying to wait that long so and it's not like my hair is not healthy and it does and now that I see that it looks good layered and I can wear a layered style and i'm content with it i'm just gonna do uh, a half an inch every three months so what that means is every three months i'm going to like when I'm, I'm gonna straighten my hair and then i'm gonna section off this front section which this bang area that i cut is this is what it looks like by the way if you guys were wondering it looks like this it's even and it kind of just goes like in a swoop now it's on both sides um but it's super healthy look how shiny it is and healthy and thick it is now but anyway <laughs> my little my little, little front mullet i also was like real quick i also was thinking about just actually just cutting my hair and having like a short little french girl cut like this i mean i still think this is really cute but i think i could do without it my hair's gonna grow back it's it'll be fine um, but anyway, like I was saying about trimming, I'm going to section off the front section. Um, my hair is cut. The way I have my hair cut is so that the front is like this. Literally like this. And I bring it to like here and it's all blunt. You see how it's blunt from this point? Like if you pull the sides to front and I just cut snip, 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 snip it's like that and then when I push it aside it's a side bang so I'm gonna that's how I'm gonna dust the front I'm literally gonna bring it all to the front like this and this side is the same but I'm not trying to ruin my part so I'm not gonna do this side but just to give you an example bring it all to the front like this and then just snip 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 or I can just eye it like I can literally just do this and just kind of follow it Whatever the case may be, I'm going to dust the front as one like unit. The top of the front is not layered. I have it so that this is longer than 
the hair in the front. So this is longer than this, as you can see. So when you bring it this way, it's blunt. So I don't have any like layers up in here. It's all one even length, just snips of snip. It'll all be even in the front. As for the layers, how I, how I know how to do the same thing next time is I did everything very particularly so I can make sure I'm doing the same thing every time. So that's the front. The front is its own unit, right? Three sections. The middle section is literally um, my hair in half. So right here, I have a part, right? And then it goes behind my ear. It starts to curve behind my ear. So I know right when this part starts to curve, this V, like this little, little V section right here, I'm going to make a set part straight across to the other other side which has a similar v section like it'll be this much hair right well let's just say and i will put this away and then i know to section this section into five pieces so one piece in the middle right one piece is a little complicated but i kind of showed it in my it needed like see it better in action make sure to check out my trimming video which i'll have linked below the middle section here, two side sections, two side sections, and then one, two, uh, well, I'll call these angled sections, and then these two sections are side sections. So it's one, two, three, four, five. Five sections, right? Your head is a circle. So with this section, I pull it up, and I cut blunt like that. So it's a 180 degree angle, straight up in the air. So I know how to do a straight up in the air haircut. Before, the issue that I was having was that I was pulling my hair behind me and I couldn't really see what was going on. I wasn't really doing the right kind of angles because I couldn't pull my hair back to see the angles and it was just a fail. So that's the reason why I think my crown started to suffer because I wasn't really trimming the entire crown area because I was not able to see really what it was doing. And if you've seen my last video, um, I kind of explained how I was pulling it back, how Prinshell was doing, but Prinshell could see my whole head. I can't see my whole head. So my method is the 80 degree method. Also helps the 100, sorry, 180 degree method. Also what helps with the 180 degree method is because my bangs are shorter, it makes the top shorter and then gradually get longer in the back. It's like more of a, it's a, uh, drastic layer ring effect versus just a 45 degree angle 180 degree is way more drastic than a 45 degree so pulling it up in the air means that my crown is going to be the shortest layer and any layer behind it will gradually get longer as it comes down so it'll be like this and that's why it blends so much better now so yeah so the middle I cut straight across and that's why it looks blunt and then I cut the middle in half moved on to this section, which is, a, I'm calling this an angled section. Mind you, I did this on both sides equally. Pulled it at a side angle. So there was this angle, this angle on both sides. And then I created a, a I kind of did an angled cut so that this top layer was the shortest and this was the longer, so it was going like in this angle. And then I split that in half, moved on to the very side angle down here mind you so on both sides and I pulled it straight across at this angle so I have an angle going straight up angle going diagonal and an angle going across and then I cut it diagonally so it literally is like a sunburst like that around my head that's how my layers are and then once I finished the front when I finished the front and the middle it sounds complicated but it was actually very easy and because I know exactly what I'm doing now I know I'm gonna be doing it right every single time so then you part this down the center and I don't know if you guys know this youtuber her name is simply lace XO um I love her channel and I love her hair she has gorgeous hair um especially in her last straightening hair video she does this method you can see the bank the, the layers here specifically like it allows the front to blend into the layers here which eventually blends into my lower layers and I like that so anyway so then 
what I did was I used my ruler because I know I want my hair to be at a certain length so I can keep track of it because I like to keep track of my growth. My hair before was at 12 and 3 quarters and I decided I want to cut it to an even number of 12. So I took my ruler, put it at 12, put it behind my nape, brought it around. And the easier method for me was to use a pen, put it behind my, put it behind like this, look at the 12 mark right on my body where the 12 mark is. In the future, I'm probably going to have to get a white, uh, um, a white pencil and probably write draw on my bra just because I'm not about to be showing you guys my ties on, on here so uh, but anyway right now it's still in skin in the skin area so I wrote on my skin and um, I that means I knew it was at the 12 mark combed it out not with my finger I used to comb combed it out brought it down matched it up with the line you also want to be wary make sure your head is straight make sure you're looking straight up make sure your shoulders are down sometimes if you're like getting if you're a little anxious like sometimes when you're about to straighten your hair or trim your hair you get a little anxious and you're doing this and then let's say i were to cut to let's say the mark was here and i cut to here i'm really actually cutting up here because i'm like all tense and stuff so it's like you want to relax put shoulders down look straight ahead be as still as possible and cut a little bit a little bit below the line just to give your hair some room for a stretch because once you let it go it might just like fall into place you know and I just cut straight across and that's what this nice even layer is and I did the same on both sides and yeah when you cut from the front and it's blunt from the front and the back it creates a U shape it's very subtle though it's, it creates a nice even you and because I have layers it kind of looks nicer than just a blunt cut because blunt cut if you're gonna do a blunt cut you might as well just have it all the same length but you know when you have layers a u-shape is really nice mm. actually really happy with my hair um I had a moment guys where I cut my bangs and now you guys all kind of crazy and you know whatever but honestly like just understand that I know my hair best I see my hair every day. I have my fingers in my hair. I know what's going on with my hair. It's sometimes it's hard to see on camera what's exactly going on with people's hair. And maybe you guys didn't even notice that my front was thinner. Maybe you did. Um, but you know, I knew over at some point I was gonna need to cut this because I knew I had heat damage. So I did it. It was a fail at first, turned turned win. <laughs> so I got there and it's darn it was already starting to grow out because when I first cut it I actually cut it like kind of crazy. I mean you guys saw the video <laughs> but it's starting to like you know grow out a bit and it has a nice blend and um I'm also glad I got to this point because um because I'm not able to go to print show like I thought I would be able to because North Carolina is just so far and um I wish she lived in New York honestly but you know I just it kind of forced me to kind of learn how to do it on my own and you know having my mom help me is nice but I just kind of wanted to have that control and because I'm so anal about my hair as, as it is and I I like to track my hair as it is I want to be in control you know so I was like I need to find a way to be able to do it myself where I don't need to rely on anyone and I think that this has brought me to the point where I have been forced to rely on myself, which is good. And and I mean that in a sense that if I had not cut my bangs like this, I probably would have still kept trimming it, trying to trim it like how Princhelle did because, you know, she's a hairdresser and she's a stylist and she can see my whole head and she knows angles way better than I do. So when she's pulling it out, she knows exactly at what point to cut. I don't know how to do that on my own head especially. So now that I... You know, I needed to find a solution to blending my bangs into the back and critically thinking of how to do that, it brought me to this point of finding a nice method of keeping my crown and layers healthy while also having length and getting rid of heat damage. So I feel like overall it was been a win, win, win. So yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this update. I will be back with straight hair in June. That's three months from now. So um, by then my hair should be 13 and a half pre-cut and I will be trimming a half an inch to 13 inches so yeah every time I trim my hair I'll be gaining a whole new number so right now I'm at 12 because I'll be cutting a half an inch off so because I'm at 12 inches now the next four, three months from now next time I straighten it'll be 13 and a half cut to 13 next three months I straighten it'll be 14 and a half cut to 14 and so on and so forth so every time you see me with straight hair I'll be gaining a whole number or a full inch including 
trims. So yeah, um, that is my plan and I have this whole plan set out for my hair and um, I know you guys think because I do all this cutting I'm never going to get to my goal because I've had someone say that to me but girl, girl, I'm not even going to say nothing because you don't see. Let the results argue for you. Anyway, I <laughs> uh, hope you enjoyed this video and yeah, I'll see you guys in my next one. Dancing so sleazy, she in the mirror dancing so sleazy, and try to hit you with the old wafty. She in the mirror dancing so sleazy, she in the mirror dancing so sleazy. She in the mirror dancing so sleazy. She in the mirror till I got flashed by the flashing, flashing light. Damn. I get flashed by the power. All I know.